We recently passed a pretty large milestone, which is we have now had more than 4 million models submitted to Kaggle competitions. That's a huge amount of machine learning. Uh, 1.4 million models submitted to competitions last year, and it uh, looks like we're probably on track to pass 2 million this year. That's a lot of machine learning. Um, so I'm pretty well positioned to give you a sense for what kind of techniques you should focus on uh, and for what sort of problems. We see, lot, we see patterns across the, the competitions that we run as to what wins and what doesn't. Now, there are two approaches that typically win competitions. Uh, the first wins on structured data problems. So this is data that you know, is, maybe fits in an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV zip file, some sort of tabular form, or possibly in a SQL database, relational data, um, but it's structured data. Now, if you want to win a competition or do, do build a very powerful algorithm on structured data, uh, there's really a st three step process that you should follow. The first is you explore the data every which way you can. You draw histograms, you draw correlelograms, you draw cross plots. Uh, you really want to understand what is in that data. What does each variable mean? Uh, what's its distribution? Ideally, how was it collected? Um, and then once you have a really rock solid understanding of what's in the data, the second thing you've got to, you want to do is start creating features. So in, uh, in machine learning parlance, they talk, we talk about feature engineering. Uh, if you're a statistician, you talk about creating synthetic variables. It's really the same thing. Now, I have a picture of different color cars on the screen, because um, a nice example of, of what it means to create features comes from one of our uh, earlier competitions, where what we did was we were predicting which cars sold at a second-hand auction would be good buyers, or I should say our community was predicting, which ca cars sold at a second-hand auction would be good buyers and which would, have lemon, which would be lemons, which would have warranty claims against them. And it turned out that the, the, the idea that won the competition or the feature that separated the winner apart from others was he found car color had a big effect. Now, what did he do with car color? He didn't just put it in as a you know, raw variable as he received it. Um, but what he did was he grouped car color into standard color cars and unusual color cars on the assumption that a standard color car was, or an unusual color car rather, was more, more likely not to be, in, you know, to have been looked after well because the buy, first buyer was an enthusiast. So that's what, what I mean by feature engineering, coming up with a clever hypothesis uh, that, that turns out to have a relationship in the data and transforming the, the, the variable uh, in such a way to take advantage of that effect. Um, and then finally, uh, you'll use a classifier. So the classifier, it, when Kaggle started, it used to be that people used all sorts of different classifiers, things ranging from self-organizing maps to support vector machines. Uh, then Random Forest really took off. We saw Random Forest in the very early days of Kaggle. Random Forest was by far the most powerful al algorithm. Um, we have now moved on from Random Forest, and it's, a, it's an algorithm called Gradient Boosting Machines, which is dominating uh, the, the structured data problems. And within Gradient Boosting Machines, there are, there are the, uh, the, the implementation that is doing best is called XGBoost. Um, and there's another one out of Microsoft Research that's doing very well called LightGBM. Now, th uh, th the choice of classifier and how you ch tune the, the uh, classifier I would just want to point out matters much less than the choice of features. So while you think of, of machine learning as complex maths, math, actually a lot of the magic, a lot of what separates uh, the really good data scientists is actually step number two, the complex features. And, and putting, your, putting those features into a classifier is not actually that difficult.